Hey guys, my name is James. My name is Elizabeth. I'm from here from Barcelona, especially from Gracia. So we're gonna do a very special video for me to show you little things and little spots and places to visit, like for example... Well, besides Parkway, we're gonna show you a few secret places in the Gracia district that you may not know about. And we're gonna show you a few other hidden places that you would, may want to check out when you come to Gracia when you visit. So stay with us and we're going to show you these things and also we're going to go to a very special place when that they let us play with the cats while we're taking a tea. Yeah, but before we get going be sure to like the video down below and to subscribe. We are in Parda la Crahueta del Coy. This is more like a local park instead of a touristy park because it's a little hidden up to the mountains. It's close to Parkway though, but uh, you have the feeling of a relaxing place full of nature and in the summer they have a swimming pool for the children. You have to pay a little bit, but it's very, very nice. This isn't a bad park to come to if you're close to Parkway, it's a good option. But if you want some views of the area, yeah, it's a little bit of a hike, a little steep, but it's definitely worth it. The park's also a little, um, oh, a little uh, not kept up as Parkway, so it's a bit of a hike, and like I said, it's a little wild. So guys, we're in Plaza de Lesseps. This is one of the most important squares in, in Gracia. It's located just above the old town of Gracia. It's a little closer to the mountains. So if you're wanting to go to the park that we just went to or to um, Parkway, which we're gonna take you a little later, this is more than likely where you're going to catch the bus or the metro. And if you want to go to the library, this is also where they have the public library. It's a massive library. Gracia is a unique district in Barcelona. The reason why is because it was built before Barcelona started to expand. It is full of squares, little streets, bars, terraces and little shops. What's famous in Gracia are the what's called Festas de Gracia that takes place in August and it's a very important party because the neighbors decorate themselves the streets for a competition and then after they do dancing, they do concerts and they have fun all together with popular dinners with the neighborhood. This is the Teatro Més Petit del Món, that is the smallest theatre in the world. This is a hidden spot in Gracia. I've been here once and it was amazing because I went to see a piano concert that it was, oh, I don't have any words to describe that feeling. And the, that's true, the theatre feels very, very narrow. Maybe we were about 10 people or something like this, but it was amazing. It's a little, like a little house and they have laid a terrace where you can also grab a beer or any drink and then after the show you can relax on the terrace and you have a nice evening. Plaza del Diamant. This is a famous square because there was a book written about La Plaza del Diamant made by Marcel Rodoreda and it was translated to 20 uh, languages because they got very, very famous. The thing is that uh, it was about the civil war, a woman that lived 
with uh, very hard and difficult times. And in the Plaza del Diamante there is also a hidden spot that not a lot of people know, that is a refugee. Yeah, so what happened is, during the Civil War in, in Spain, when Franco's forces or his allies, when Mussolini was attacking the city, they, the actual people in the neighborhood got together and built bunkers across the, all the neighborhoods in Barcelona. There were, at, I think at the time, over a thousand bunkers in Barcelona, and now there's only a few that you can still visit in the city. One of them being here in Gracia and in this plaza. They're only open on the weekends, it's only weekend tours. You have to book online, which I'll leave the email address or the website down below. And they have, I believe, the tours in Spanish, Catalan, and I think English as well. But the bunkers are basically, or the one here in Gracia, are very, very small. The one here can only hold about 300 people. It's over four stories below ground, and when, it's, and when I mean a bunker, it's something like literally they just dug a hole in the ground there's no food no water nothing it was just a hole in the ground that the people would had to give a portion of their wage or their weekly wage i think it was like two pesetas to be able to, to pay to have this constructed when the average for weekly wage was only like five so it's quite interesting and uh you know, it's pretty cool if you come yes. here it's definitely on the weekends Castle Vicens and you can tell that Gaudi incorporated a lot of nature into all of his works and you can see this in every single piece of his work in the city and you can even see similarities between a lot of the places including the railings on the outside of this Casa Vicens is the same you have to look for it but it's the same that's in uh, Park Way. I'm on top of the roof of Castle Vicens and trust me this is the first time I've ever been at a Gaudi place where it's not extremely busy with people. We're going to be going to Parkway later today and hopefully it won't be too busy but you'll see probably a difference in what I mean. So guys, we're walking through the streets of the Gracia district right now. We're going to be showing you a few more of the plazas around Gracia. And then later tonight, we're going to take you to one of the meeting areas in Gracia, which is the Plaza del Sol. It's one of the busiest areas as well because it's the place for the hippies, basically. You have a lot of people that basically sit on the ground, smoke, relax, sing music, play the guitar things like this so it's a great area to go and relax and right now Gracia during the day is not that busy because obviously people are out or they're working or they're with family but at night you'll see that it's very very busy almost every day of the week
designed to be a complex of houses, about 60 houses more or less, but they run out of funding and uh, after this they decided to leave it for the city council and right now it's a very pretty and fabulous park. Parkway right now. It's a fantastic time to come because it's not that busy. It's only like 4 or 4.30 p.m. You have some excellent views over Barcelona and just keep in mind that if you want to take the bus from Plaza Les Seps, it's bus number 116 up to uh, Parkway. So just remember that if you want to take the bus up instead of hiking all the way up. And it costs like 9 euros or about 10 to enter Parkway, but be sure to check online and book your tickets online ahead of time beforehand because you'll save a lot of money and you also save time because during the summer a lot of the times you won't be able to enter because there's just too many people trying to enter the park at any one time. This is one of the plazas in Gracia district and as you see there's a lot of people on the terraces because it's full of restaurants and bars. You'll find also people sitting on the floor to hang out with friends. It's a normal thing to do in Gracia. It's a little more different to do because you have the feeling of a town so it's a little different. An anecdote to explain about this plaza is that uh, this plaza had uh, its own a uh, bunker like the bunker that we showed you before but unfortunately it was destroyed. ¿Cuál es la finalidad de este sitio? La finalidad del proyecto es que, bueno, gatos adultos que son los que tenemos aquí encuentren un hogar. Esto, bueno, es un cat café, pero lo más importante es que es un centro de adopciones. Entonces, la finalidad o una de las finalidades es que cuando vienes aquí puedas tomar un café, puedas pues leerte un libro, eh, dibujar, hay gente que también lo hace, eh, hacer las cosas de cualquier cafetería pero acompañado de gatos y si además quieres adoptar. Pues, maravilloso. Genial. ¿De dónde llegan estos gatos? Los cogemos, bueno, los adoptamos aquí de la protectora de Barcelona, bueno, tenemos convenio con algunas protectoras, sí. una de ellas es esta, acá Barcelona. Luego también colaboramos con la protectora de Vilafranca y con otra que creo que era SPAC. Eh, y ahora mismo no sé si alguna más. Estas son las tres principales uh -huh. y ocasionalmente si alguna asociación... Pues, ciento y pico gatos que han salido adoptados, solo nos devolvieron uno. ¡Ostras, muy bien! Y al final este gato, que era Balú, se fue adoptado con una familia que... Oh, maravillosa. O sea, es que, que hay casos que lo, es que lo, lo ves tan claro y, y es, o se ha encajado todo tan perfectamente. Generalmente nos suelen ir mandando pues eso, fotos, eh, las actualizaciones, ¿no? Por decir, pues, de cómo van. Hey guys, so we're going to be ending the video here. We just got out of the Cat Cafe, which is uh, it's a little new for me. I've never been in one before, and we were about this close from walking away with a cat. Oh yeah, but, <laughs> I wanted a cat, yeah. but you didn't allow me. No, but no, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked the video, guys, and I hope you like what we showed you in Gracia. There's some spots that hopefully you haven't seen before, and some other secret places that more it's mostly just the locals that know about. Be sure to subscribe to the video down below and to subscribe and we'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.